Praise the Lord, saints, and welcome back to FFT, Food for Thought Ministries, where we move with purpose in our walk with Christ over here. My name is Rokisha Muhammad, and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you've been with me since day one, welcome back, family. This is a, another Bible review, and this Bible is called the premier study Bible and it is in the second edition it is in the King James Version and I was about to study out of this Bible and I said before you start marking it up girl go ahead and do a review so I've had this Bible for a couple of months and I do want to give a shout out to my girl Nikki Glover for recommending this Bible I did purchase this on eBay and I got it in this pretty pink and gray bars. All right. <laughs> so thank you again, sis. Miss Nikki Glover, shout out to you. Thank you for uh, putting me onto this um, beautiful Bible. So here it is, family. It is in a leather soft touch, um, gray and pink. As you can see, it has some embossments going on here. Um, these is also engraved. There is a perimeter stitch around the Bible. It looks like it's gray or white. All right. There is silver gilding. There is white and gray head and tail bands. You get two ribbons, a pink and a gray. All right. The gilding is absolutely gorgeous, shiny. All right. And we do have us uh, some raised hubs. I love Bibles with raised hubs. I don't know. It's just something about a Bible that has raised hubs for me. It's the raised hubs for me, family. And there is one, two, three, four, five raised hubs. And here we have the Premier Study Bible, second edition. And this is the back. Has the same pattern. This beautiful gray and pink. And then there is the ISBN number engraved in the back. So let's go ahead and get into this Bible. It's really soft. It's really very, very pretty. Again, I already said this is a, um, it's not paper, but it's a, what is this? Vinyl-like paste down. All right. Hopefully y'all can see. My Lord, help me, Lord. Okay. It's a vinyl gray like paste down okay that's just thick here is the presentation page that I have yet to fill out which I need to do title page the premier study Bible second edition the premier study Bible all right We have our copyright page here. This was copyright. It says um, 2021. Um, this publication was of the KJV was 2016. It is printed in China. All right. So here is the table of contents. Bring it down just a little bit. I'm just gonna move the Bible because I like people to be able to see. So here we have the table of contents. There is some shadowing as you can see. The pages are super super thin, but we have here um, the Old Testament and the New Testament. All right, we have the burgundy or crimson colored title heading, and here we have the editorial committee all right continued on over here let's see this is brand new i was doing my study on the kingdom 
and I wanted a KJV version that I haven't used so I picked this up and I said girl before you mark it review it okay so here is the additional writers and contributors page you got elders pastors evangelists teachers missionaries all right and you have your proofreaders and coordinators and specialists over here we have a introduction to the premier study bible might want to read that i might need to read that because i don't it's my first time really really going through it then we have here welcome to the second edition of the premier study bible and so let's go ahead and go over these features y'all know how i do i go in depth so we're going to read the features here all right so we have <clears throat> The Premier Study Bible comes packed with information to enhance your study of God's holy word, the Bible. Some of the features include, you're going to get introductions to each book of the Bible. You're going to get commentary notes. You're going to get center column cross references. All right. Center column cross references. You're also going to get in-text bold headings which lets you see in a moment what the subject of the biblical text is. You're going to get archaeology notes occasionally within a page. You're going to get character studies on major Bible. Um, what is this? Personages. I can't even say that word. Y'all know what it is. Showing bibliop <laughs> bibliographical sketches and lessons to be gleaned from their lives. You're going to get informational writings located before the Old and New Testament, along with an article describing the intertestament period. You're going to get a harmony of the Gospels. You're going to get theological articles covering a wide range of topics. You're going to get a topical index where you can find scriptures on many vital subjects. You're going to get a unique concordance that not only allows you to quickly locate scripture find, found in the Bible, but it also equips with Strong's and Vine's Hebrew and Greek word studies to assist in understanding words in the original languages. That is a plus. And you're going to get eight pages of full color map sections. Gives a brief um, snapshot from Genesis through New Testament times. So those are the features of this Bible. If that sounds like something you are interested in, then this might be a Bible for you. So here is a list of the features. These are the um, articles listed here. All right. So you're going to have all these articles. I think they are going to be list located in the back of the book. So you got some dispensations dispensations you got angels and demons um, biblical covenants days of the Lord um, I'm just going through here miracles New Testament church model people of God and again these are all, all articles okay you got your um, character study starting down here Abraham Adam Barnabas, David, Deborah, Isaac. You see all these studies you get, character studies. You're going to get your archaeology notes. So it goes on and on and on. So this is where you would find those at. Introduction to the Old Testament. All right. So this is what it looks like. You have the river of God, creation, mankind, and nations. So this is an introduction. Then it continues over here with writings, sacrifices, and redemption. And now it shows that we are into the Old Testament. Here is the introduction to Genesis. Okay, it's going to give you... Oh, look at this. Let me just bring you down here a little bit. This little fire i guess this will represent like the burning bush maybe i don't know but we have a title here this is just the introduction you see look at this hebrew right and then it's telling you what genesis mean i can't even say it berich translated in the beginning 
So you're going to see that throughout. So you're going to get the title. You're going to get the author. You're also going to get, sorry, you crooked. You're going to get a date. You're going to get the setting. You're going to get a theme located here and you're going to get an outline. All right. And then here, let me just pull it up a little bit. And then here is the introduction. I mean, the first book of the pages. So we have, it looks like it's going to be in two columns. We're going to have a center column reference, like it said. We have our subheadings, the creation. This is labeled the first day. We have our, um, our chapter one is bolded with the red color. And then all the rest of these two columns are study notes, family. Look how much study notes it is in just these. This is one through five. And that's not even fully five. And I believe this is a nine and a half point font. Looks like about to me. Not sure, but it looked about like a nine and a half point font. So there, there's a close up of the font. The center column references. And then this is what the study notes are looking like. Wow. You see all these little Hebrew word little studies almost? It's giving you important words in the Hebrew with the Strongs. I like that. That's very different. Look at all the Hebrew up in here. You can just see it throughout the footnote. I mean about the study notes. Alright. So we see the layout. Let's turn the page. And here we have an extra biblical creation accounts. Scripture is continued. Your cross references and again your study notes. So this is the format. Pretty clean. I like it. I'm going to read something here in a minute. But let's, let's just try to look at all the features so far. All right. Let's see here. This must be a character profile for Adam. This is what they look like. All right. So we see what the character profiles look like. Here's the character profile for Eve. Let me just keep turning. I'm just trying to find another feature. Here's another character profile for Jacob. I want to read some of the notes in a minute. Let's just go ahead. Let's go to the prophetic setting. It's not going to be long. I need to get in this book. Just wanted to share it. Kings. Okay, here's one of the um, charts that it was talking about that it has. And it said it had in map, I mean, in text charts and maps. Okay, Solomon. I'm trying to find some of the, if, if it has some pictures or something. Okay, here's a map. Here's an in text map. So you can see what those look like. Hopefully, you can see that. So there are some in text maps here. Here's another one. This was the divided kingdom. Kingdom. Here's another one. I'm just flipping, and it's and it's giving. Okay. So let's see here. Here is one of the ribbons. It's gray. Hmm. I think it's setting on both sides. It's, it's a nice ribbon though. It's really thick. I mean, not thick like thick, but I'm talking about wide. It's not flimsy at all. I like the ribbon. The ribbon is nice. I can appreciate that. Some more in-text maps. Okay, let me pick something to read. Yeah, let me find something. Okay, here is the poetic setting. This is the book of Psalms. Let me see. Psalms 51. 
Okay, so this is what the Book of Psalms is looking like, or the poetic setting, I should say. Again, two columns, center column references, study notes at the bottom. All right, so we see the poetic setting. Let's see if the words are in red. Let's get to the New Testament. Okay, here is the, what is this? The Between the Testaments. Let's see. Here we go. This is the Between the Testaments. All right. So it's giving you um, the Persian period. It's talking about some Alexander the Great. So you got all this in between the Testaments information. A few pages long. So this is an excellent feature. A lot of Bibles don't have that. So that is an interest to you. Okay. Here we have the introduction to the New Testament. We have the harmony of the Gospels. All right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, the pages are stuck. This is the harmony of the Gospels continued. and all this is in between the testaments and now we are into the new testament has a whole blank page for itself look at all these pages you can use for notes if you like if you're a note taker the introduction to matthew all right more in text notes and then we have again here we see a character study and there is the red print. Bring it down so you can see that. It is a red letter. All right. The salt of the earth. You see the difference between the black and the red text. The red is not too bright. It's almost the color of that crimson red on the headers, on the headings. So it's not real bright and it's not pink and it's not super red. It's like a crimson color to me. All right. So that's, it's cool. It's all right. So this is the red letter text. All right. Okay. Let's get to some of these articles. Here's something on the Dead Sea Scrolls. The book of Luke. Mary so let's just get on y'all see the basic layout you see the red letter you see the study notes the cross references so let's go ahead okay let's see Oh, that was just the articles of that revelations. Okay. I did want to read something. Let me see. Um okay, boom. Ephesians, you can't never go wrong with Ephesians. Okay, boom. This stood out to me. Walk in love. Let me just put it on. here's the pin other pink ribbon. Okay, here's the other ribbon, which is pink. Hopefully y'all can see that. Hold this place for me. So let's just read um, this little quick little thing and read the note on it. Is there a note for this? Mm. Okay, let's read this. It's saying, we're going to read this scripture right here. Ephesians 5 and 11 it says and have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness but rather reprove them okay so here's a note I just want to see what the note is saying 511 
It says, separation is one of the oldest and most basic doctrine in scripture. To reprove is to tell a fault, reprimand, reprehend, I'm sorry, to call to account. Okay, that was a basic little note. 6, 10, and 11. We already know about this. I'm only going to read it because it has a note. No, we're going to read. Okay, let's just read this real quick. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. Against powers, against rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Okay, now let's go ahead and read the note. 6 and 12, and then we're going to move to the articles. I just want to see how the notes flow. All right, so just, this is just what I do. And it says, both Jesus and the Bible writers recognize the demonic that is loose in the atmosphere and on earth. Principalities, all of that, kingly or magus, how you say that? Magus, magus, I can't even pronounce that, rule, which is powers, power, authority, or weight, especially moral authority, influence rulers is used of the angelic or demonic powers controlling the sublunary world. The above allows for the possibility of a developed organized system of hierarchical, I can't even pronounce that, evil, like the hierarchy, meaning it is ranked, okay? Evil. Consider these verses, and then it goes ahead to the prince of the kingdom of Persia. So it goes into all these different cross-references, which is awesome. And then it just goes on over here with some more notes going into 13. About the whole armor of God includes such items as having one's loins girt about with truth. Some translations say belt of truth, which keeps all of the armies together. The breastplate of righteousness refers to the holy character and moral conduct that covers and guards the heart. Okay, to have feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace is to wear gospel shoes, the manner in which believers carry the good news of Jesus. The shield of faith and helmet of salvation are defensive armor. The sword of the spirit is the uttered word of God. All right, that's a good little note. I can appreciate it. So let's go ahead into this back here. We have, these are the articles. This is the part of the book that I really, really, when I looked, flipped through it briefly, I was liking these notes. I mean, these articles here, the age of the earth, right? That's the article, ages of dispensation. Like we've seen those in the front. Angels and demons. If I had time, you know, I would be reading that. Okay. For real, for real. Um, I'm just flipping through to see. Well, did I skip one? Biblical covenants. Right. So this book is packed with information. The day of the Lord. God's financial plan. Did you know he had a financial plan? Then the in the in uh, I can't even say that the inherency of scripture, meaning the reliability of it, the truth of it. Israel talks about Israel and it goes on and on miracles. Come on, who don't want to know about the miracles? Let's see, it's just so many articles back here. Prayer. The prophetic nature of the Old Testament feast of Jehovah. I'm just going through. Repentance. Something the church hardly ever talks about. 
my lord and that's the whole message of jesus the kingdom and repentance okay the tabernacle of david and model for worship okay so we're almost done with these and then we get into our topical index here so we do have a topical index which is good always good I'll just pull you back up because this is just an index still index then you have a concordance as well so you have you a nice little concordance back here okay this concordance is kind of hefty all right concordance Is that the end of it? So all this is concordance. You see that? That's kind of that's kind of hefty for concordance. It's not like it's a little sump something. Then here are our maps, and then we out of here, y'all. I'm gonna let you go. So we have the world of the patriarchs. This is the map of that. I still haven't gotten into maps yet, but it's on this um, shiny card stock paperwork I mean paper or maps just in case you are a map person let me let you see the whole thing don't come for me okay kingdom of David and Solomon got this whole map key going on down here then you got Jesus ministry map. This one is always cool. This is always a cool map. We have Paul missionary journey. Okay, both sides to the bottom. And this is the last map here, which is Jerusalem in the times of Jesus. All right, so that's this map. And then we have another cardstock paper with this vinyl paste down. And that's what the edges look like, just in case you was wondering. And you can still see that perimeter stitch. And that's it, y'all. That is it. Let me just put this right back. I'm about to get into this Bible and continue my study on the kingdom, which is God's real message, right? So I'm going to be, uh, so look for that. That's going to be coming soon, y'all. I'm going to do a message on the kingdom of God, the true message of Jesus Christ, the hidden message, because nobody is talking about the kingdom. And that was his whole message, my Lord. Okay, so this is it, the premier study Bible family. If you like that, go check it out. I got mine on eBay again this is it this pink and gray off of ebay all right love you guys take care talk to you soon bye bye now